Hello guys, Creo 438 here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, in the last time we played three mini games. I'll show you those right now. Uh, we played Seeing Stars, which wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, Zombie Aquarium, and Be Gould Twist. So this time we're going to be playing three more. And we're going to start off with Big Trouble Little Zombie, which if you don't remember, this was, um, yeah, the mini game with the small zombies. <coughs> As you can see, I bought a garden rake off screen because I thought, why not? So, um, like I mentioned last time, we already know how this minigame works. Small zombies, they take less damage. Well, actually, they don't need, they take more damage, I mean, but they take, like, they have less health. As I said last time that we were doing this. So, yeah, nothing really new here. So, yeah. So, uh, this is a good time to talk about that uh, Splatoon related thing that I didn't get to talk about last time. So, um, I don't know if I actually told you guys this, but recently I got with a squad. Actually, not very recently, it was a couple months ago, it was in November. Uh, I joined a squad that, um, not a squad, I mean a team. I always get those terms mixed up, but they're different things, really. You might not know what the difference is, but there is a pretty big one, so. Squads are just like what you go in with to actually like play and like ranks, you know. Um. So yeah, I recently joined a team, uh, no, not recently, shit. Um, I joined a team in like November, and uh, it's called, uh, well, we're actually changing our name. We used to be called Team Cax, but it's getting, we're changing our name because like, um, they couldn't, they didn't know what our name was on the stream, and also it didn't fit, uh, because like we joined a tournament, and it was being streamed. So like, um, one of our team members said that like the announcers, like, or the commentators didn't know what our name is, like couldn't pronounce our name properly. So that was one reason why we're changing it. And also like it didn't really fit with like the game at all. Cause you know, the, if you don't know, like uh, Splatoon, um, Splatoon has like a bunch of people, or a bunch of teams that are like uh, named after like squid related things, cause you know, squid memes I guess. But there's like, um, for example like squids next door, there's a lot of play on, a lot of play on words related stuff with like squids and whatnot. There's another plant for a zen garden. You know, it's like, uh, Squids Next Door, Tentacle Difficulties, um, what's another one? Uh, that's all I can think of, but... Th I'm sure there's more. There's definitely more. Um, but yeah, we're changing our name because, like, it doesn't really fit with, um, anything related to Splatoon, so, yeah. Team Cax is kind of just something out of thin air, but, yeah. So, that's something. Um, the people on my team, they're, they're pretty cool guys. I like them. I should not have planted that cherry bomb there. I should have planted it there, so that zombie would have died too. Wow, we were getting tons of plants with Zen Garden. But yeah, and I've been... Um, I mean, I haven't been playing that much with them, even though I should be, because, you know, it's for the whole purposes of, like, playing together as a team and, like, um, just getting better at the game in general, so, yeah. I should be playing more with them, but I'm just not. I don't really know why. Maybe I'll try to, um... Well, it is Monday now. It's 1.14 in the morning. Maybe I'll try to... Maybe I'll go on uh, Discord later today and ask if anyone wants a quad. Which, if you don't, means uh Which you don't know, it means a uh, quad squad. 
Uh, that's so unnecessary. I'm just gonna plant a walnut there so my lily pad doesn't die. So I wouldn't really want that. You know, it doesn't really matter. The guy got bodied. So, yeah. I just kinda wanted to bring that up because I just didn't have anything to talk about at the end of the last episode, so... And, like, I didn't get to talk about it because we ended the level so... We ended a Be Ghouled Twist so early, so I thought I'd just talk about it now. Um, so interesting uh, thing about this level, yeah, we're steering away from the topic I was just talking about. Uh, interesting thing about this level, um, with the small zombies mechanic, they actually kind of brought it back in Plants for Zombies too, because in that game there's now a premium plant called Shrinking Violet, which basically shrinks, um, it basically shrinks zombies and makes them tiny. Just like the small zombies in this game, there's actually like, um, a brain buster dedicated to showing off Shrinking Violet. Anyway, we got a trophy. Now we get Bobsla Bonanza, not one of my more favorites, and for a good reason. That one is not easy. All right. So next, uh, next mini game we got Portal Combat, which is a pretty interesting mini game, which you do not shoot your plants on. It is a um, conveyor belt level. So basically, the gimmick of this one is that we have uh, these portals, and how it works is you can shoot your, you can have. You want to plant um, plants in front of them because basically what that does is it gives them um, basically this repeater is only shooting at this portal because that zombie will because basically the the pea shooters uh, the repeater shots will go through that portal and then it comes out the other end so yeah that's the idea there this pea shooter is not shooting anything because he has to shoot at this thing for uh, the, to, uh, for his piece to come out the other end. And I believe the zombies can go through the portal, but I'm not exactly sure about that. I guess we'll find out. Oh, we can play on Walnut right there. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting mini game. Now, if you play a cactus there, it won't actually go through the portal. It can't actually shoot at the zombies, apparently. Uh, we need coverage there. And we need this bucket as a die, because we don't want him alive. So yeah, this is a pretty cool minigame. Portals relocating, and the portals will change their location throughout the, uh, throughout the level. So now they're here. And... That's actually kind of confusing to know which one... Oh, it's through this way. So it goes through this one and comes out the other end. It's not really that easy to know um, where the portals are gonna come, like where the ins and outs of the portals are. But once you once you, you just gotta play around with it. Once you figure it out, you'll get cooking. So yeah, let's uh, have our peas fired here. Oh wow, that guy's gonna get bodied. Yep, he's dead immediately. Alright, so, you know, I'm gonna uproot this cactus because it's not really doing anything. Don't really want to, but... Oh, and of course, right when the balloon zombie. But it wasn't even in the same land, so... Portals are relocating again. Maybe it's only... Uh, the square portals that can relocate. I'm not sure on that, but... It's a possibility, okay. Now the cactus grow, the balloon zombie gets shot down. So that's cool. Um, we need another cactus. Alright, finally use a cherry bomb. We'll kill those two guys. We get cherry bomb on those guys. Uh, let's talk about. I don't really know. I can't, oh shit, yeah, the zombies can go through the portals, okay, confirmed, guys, oh shit. Okay, actually, we're gonna leave that wand there. Oh, that's a problem, that's a problem. Portals are relocating again. Yeah, it's only square ones that can actually change position. Alright, problem, no more. Alright, that's a, oh, that's an issue. 
Wow, she will stay up and keep attacking them. Not bad. Okay. We need you to grow. Holy shit. Okay. There we go. You can put that pea shooter there. Sorry I'm not talking um, that much. We've kind of gone over the gimmick to this, and I don't really know what else to talk about, so yeah. And I'm not gonna reuse the whole, oh, you, you know that time where you don't know what to talk about? <laughs> this, that, that's old, boys, that's old. All right, pearls are relocating. Okay, actually these ones can relocate. So I guess any zombie that comes in on up here will come down through here now. I think that's what we're looking at. Alright, we got the final wave. Or maybe be the complete opposite. I will not have you get through. You the body. I'm not gonna lose again, dude. Alright, we have this repeater. Do stuff. Uh, that does not work. Dude, we need a cherry bomb now. Holy shit, we need a cherry bomb. Game, I need a cherry bomb. Am I actually gonna lose? I'm gonna lose, yep. Yep, alright. We restart, boys. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, back at the final wave. I will not let you get through. I will not let you guys do shit, and you guys are just dead. There we go. It took four freaking minutes. <laughs> shit. Well, it was long. That's the disadvantage of not having the speed up button, man. Like you can't. Just speed through it if you've already beaten it. Oh yeah, also, uh, remember when the music was um, broken, as I said last time? Which may, it may not actually be broken, but... It may not have actually been broken per se, but... Um, yeah, it's not anymore. It's back to normal. So we got a new minigame, we got Zombie Nimble, Zombie Quick. You got it? Alright, now for one of my more favorite minigames, Call Him Like You See Him. But it's kind of difficult. At least the last time I played it was pretty challenging. And guess what guys? It plays this song, it plays Ultimate Battle. Uh, maybe that wasn't the best place to plant the potato mines. Um, so basically, if you haven't already figured it out, the gimmick to this level is that you have... They'll give you one plant, but every time you place a plant down, you get a column of them. Which is really cool. And now a huge wave is immediately gonna come. Um, a jalapeno is very a jalapeno is very good in this because it's basically a field wipe. So yeah. Yeah, you wanna plant some potato mines closer up. That was my mistake, guys. That was my mistake. Uh, make sure you're planting your plants on four columns because or not for, like, just like, make sure there's a full row of flower pots on them, because this is a roof level, so you can't put your plants wherever you want. Because then you won't get the full column of plants. I'm going to do a field wipe here. It's a clean sweep. Uh, I'm going to do actually what I didn't recommend doing. Oh, wow, I got wrecked. Oh shit, stay fast though. Oh, we got squashes though. Oh, get bodied. Get bodied. Get some pumpkins right there. That's dangerous. I'm not dealing with those guys. That Those are probably the only two jalapenos I'm going to get, honestly, but whatever. Could probably use some more offense. Because there are gargantuars in this level if you saw it, and there they are right now. 
I get pumpkins on these on these uh, winter melon pulps. I also have winter melons because I'm so used to using winter melons. Use them so much in plants design too. But we got choppers. I have them back here because they're not really going to do much uh, if I plant them up close. They're just wrecking our defense. Yeah, this is definitely one of the harder mini games, but it's possible. Like for sure. Oh shit. Okay, this is not good, as you can see. You're just kind of getting bodied. Fuck. No, we're just getting completely wrecked. No sympathy right now. Oh my gosh. Oh fuck. I can't deal with this, boys. I can't. I need that rack. We're just, we're just dead. All our lawnmowers will be gone. Fuck. Wait. Okay, never mind. I thought that one man was gonna be like, no, bitch. There's still more zombies. I don't think we have. They're not gonna get us anymore, yet, are they? No, that's all. Wow, they're only giving us fly pots? They don't understand. Unless they give us something clutch like a hoppy. No, they're not giving us any more plants. Oh, they're gonna have squashes, but that's it. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. No, there are five gargantuars. Holy crap. No, we gotta redo this one. Alright, I'll meet you guys back again. So apparently this level comes down to complete luck of the draw. Hashtag Yu-Gi-Oh boys. Because I did not get this row of, of Melon Pulse last time. So I basically got screwed because the game didn't give me enough methods of attack. At least that's what I feel like. Also, they only gave me one jalapeno. Let's see. I don't really approve of. That's annoying when the game just doesn't give you enough to deal with the plants. Or the zombies. Yeah, we're fighting plants, boys. Plants versus plants. That's clearly what they're going for. Despite the fact that you see zombies everywhere. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this level is like, this level is plants versus zombies too material. You could pass this off as a level in Plants for Zombies 2, like, no you can't because the art direction is the same, but yes you can in the sense that it looks like a level from Plants for Zombies 2. I'm just going to do a clean field sweep right there. I'm going to plant these flower pots so that they have to eat more. And I guess I'll plant more of these, winter, one of these melon pulps. I keep saying winter melons. It's because I've been using winter melons, like, a lot. And plants for zombies too. All right, here's another one. No, no more of these guys. Jeez, boy, this is fucking big way beach level. Big way beach level hard. All right, we got more flower pots. Eh, whatever, I'll just get those melon pots there. Yeah, so apparently it, they just, it, it just comes down to luck when you win, when you have a, you can have a really easy time or a really hard time with this level. First time I didn't get so lucky, but this time I got better luck, so yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Alright, we're fine. And actually, uh, no, field, field wipe, field wiper, boys. There we go. Knock new mini game, whack a zombie, which we've already seen. So, yeah, I think we're fit to end it off here. So next time on Plants vs Zombies, we're gonna be playing Bob's Love Bonanza. 
Um, zombie nimble, zombie quick, and whack a zombie. I know we actually don't have that many minigames left. So yeah, see you guys then.